All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're gonna make a really elegant appetizer that requires no cooking whatsoever. It's gonna be some beautiful brazola with some rocket dressed in a little blood orange infused olive oil and sherry vinegar. Guys, this is absolutely delicious. No cooking, come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's grab our brazola. Now, I've been lucky enough, if you remember, we did that carbonara video a while back, and my friend Pete, he made some wonderful smoked dry cured bacon for that. Well, he's actually made this wonderful brazola here. And brazola, if you think, if you wanna know what it is, it's, it's top side of beef, so, um, over here in the States, I think that's top round. Um, and it's basically dry cured with some spices uh, until it loses probably about 40% of its moisture. So you get this lovely cured beef packed with flavor. It comes from Italy originally. And, uh, and this is almost like a classic starter, but I've given it a kitchen daddy twist. Like all cured meats, we want to lay them out on a plate. We want to let them come up to room temperature when they come up to room temperature, you get a much more pronounced flavor. You get more of the aromatics coming off the meat. So it doesn't matter if you're doing that with Parma ham or you're gonna do it with brazola or whatever cured meat you're gonna do, that's what you wanna do. Let it all come up to room temperature. Now I've got some rocket or arugula in this bowl. We need to add a few splashes of this blood orange infused olive oil, which is absolutely delicious a little sprinkle of sherry vinegar, and then the tiniest pinch of salt and pepper. And really go a little bit on the salt because what you're gonna find, guys, is you know the meat is gonna be quite salty, and we're gonna finish this off with some parmesan, which is gonna be salty as well. But you do need just a tiny little pinch. Right, let's mix that all together, really gently toss it. We don't wanna bruise any of those leaves. And now we can scatter that all over the brazola. Last of all, let's grab a big block of Parmesan and a peeler, and we're just gonna peel off some beautiful shavings of Parmesan cheese. Let's sprinkle that all over the dish, and there you go, guys, a beautiful appetizer. Here we go, guys, look at that. That is so beautiful, so elegant. And oh, honestly, it smells amazing. And Pete, great work, mate. This brazala is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's really packed with flavor. So anyway, let's get into this. Right. Mm. You know something's good when your whole mouth is just exploding with flavor. I mean, do you know what's really good about this, guys? you get the really beautiful taste and flavor of the beef and everything else on here is just helping to accentuate that wonderful flavor. Um, now, traditionally, you wouldn't necessarily have it with blood orange infused olive oil and sherry vinegar. What I thought, um, you know, I had that knocking around. I thought that's gonna be an incredible pairing to go with that. Traditionally, you probably just use some lemon, um, squeeze a fresh lemon, some olive oil, over there, or you could do some balsamic vinegar, keeping it more Italian. I thought, you know what? In Spain, they produce a, a cured beef called fatina, and I thought, God, man, blood oranges uh, from, uh, from from Spain, sherry vinegar with that, ah, oh, works absolutely well. So guys, go to your Italian deli, go and get some brazola. Um, if you can find some blood orange uh, vinegar, um, olive oil, go and get it. If not, olive oil, lemon juice, parmesan, boom. Absolutely perfect. Get in the comments, give us a thumbs up. Love hearing from you. I'm gonna enjoy this. Take care, bye-bye.